Hey everyone, this is the Squire Affinity Jaguar Bass in Metallic Orange. Let's check this thing out. Squire Affinity Jaguar bass was released last year in spring 2021 and it's one of the more unique basses in the Squire lineup. The two unique features of this bass I'd say first is the humbucking pickup. Most Squire basses come with a P or J pickup but this comes with a passive humbucking pickup. And the second unique feature of this is the fretboard length so it's a 32 inch neck. Standard neck is 34 inches, short scale is 30 inches, but this sits right in between. The only other Squire bass that offers a 32 scale length is the Squire Classic Vibe Jaguar. So this is a pretty lightweight bass. It has a very thin neck and then it just has a volume and tone knob. So let's go ahead and just hear some sound samples. So when this bass first released, I actually wasn't that interested in it. It looked cool and it was the right price, but it just, the reviews were mixed and I didn't really feel a need for a passive humbucking bass. The bass originally came in blue or charcoal and then a black. But as of this year, I saw that in Europe, they got exclusive Squire finishes that were not available in the US. The first bass I saw was a Squire Competition Mustang in Capri Orange, which looks amazing because it's very strikingly similar to the original Competition Mustangs. Then I saw that there were two Jaguar basses and exclusive finishes, the Metallic Orange and then the Shell Pink with matching headstocks. All five of the models look stunning, but this orange really spoke out to me because I'm a huge Royal Blood fan and Mike Kerr has a signature Jaguar bass in orange as well. This Jaguar bass is a little different. It's 30 inch scale neck. He has different models. Some have two humbuckers, some have one humbucker. His orange one specifically has two. His orange is also a different shade of orange. It's not a metallic. It's more of a solid color. But I mean, for under $400, I'm pretty much getting orange Jaguar. It's strikingly similar to his, so I really can't complain. If you are going for the Royal Blood Tone on a budget, it's probably better to go for the Grutch Junior Jet Bass, but I just like the look of this bass so much more. So. I opted in for it. So going back, the space is not available in the US, it's only available in Europe. I just kind of sit it out for a couple months waiting to see if any US retailers announce that it's gonna get released like Chicago Music Exchange or Sweetwater. Then I saw that Squire is having a sale on these bases in the summer. I contacted Fender to see if the space was coming to any retailer. Fender told me that they did not plan on releasing the space for at least a year. So I decided to opt in to buy it from a European retailer and just eat that international shipping cost. And then two weeks ago, I saw that Chicago Music Exchange was getting the orange Mustang as an exclusive model. And then I checked Sweetwater site and then I saw Sweetwater was getting this Jaguar and the Shell Pink Jaguar as exclusive models. So I kind of ate the international shipping costs. Fender did not really tell me the truth, but I get it because you know, this information they can't share, but don't tell me that it's not gonna be released for a year <laughs> if it's gonna be released in three weeks later. Overall, it was only about a $60 loss and I got instant gratification of having the base. So it's not too bad, but it was just kind of a frustrating situation. So just 
just know if you see bases in the EU, they'll probably come to the US. You just gotta be a little patient. So going back to Royal Blood, I bought this base specifically for Royal Blood covers. I just wanted something that really fits the aesthetic. I also have some Royal Blood pedals that Mike Kerr uses, specifically the EHX cockfight. So I'm just going to go ahead and demo some Royal Blood tones for you. I'd say this is a pretty solid bass, especially for the money. It's a very unique bass in the Squire lineup, which is what made it really appealing to me. Right now, this bass runs for about 290 USD. There's a Squire summer sale going on, so all retailers are selling it for 260. But if you do want the orange or the shell pink, it does cost 340 from Sweetwater, but it does come with a matching headstock that the three regular finishes do not come with. I would say this bass's greatest strength is the neck. It's a very comfortable neck and it's a 32 scale length neck. So it's not a full 34 scale length and it's pretty unique. You don't find 32 scale lengths that often, especially at this price point. The bass is also very lightweight and it sounds pretty decent for what it is. I used to have a Squire vintage modified Jaguar that was a 30 scale length and I sold it because I didn't feel like I needed it at the time, but I honestly really miss that bass. It's just nice to have another bass around for rehearsals that's just lightweight and just easy to play. Now I'd say the biggest flaw of this bass is the pickup. The pickup just sounds kind of muddy, not really where I want it to be. So in the long run, I probably will replace the pickup, but the bass just feels so great. That's not really a big deal to me. Another issue is the neck dive. It's not really that bad. I've seen Thunderbird basses that have a ton of neck dive. So here's me referencing the neck dive. So here's the space. If I let it go, it will kind of drop here, but this isn't really that bad of a spot. It's not like a Thunderbird where it drops all the way down here. And then, I mean, overall, it's kind of staying right now. It's not dropping that hard, so it's not that bad. So hopefully you enjoyed this review of my Squire Affinity Jaguar bass. Um, expect to see it more in the future for my Royal Blood covers, and hope you enjoyed the video.